who wants me? Now that you are all here, I have my announcements this afternoon. Um, I'm having them in the afternoon today because I wanted you all to get recuperated from your trip at Corning. Um, I wanted you to just have some time to relax in the morning and do things. Um, so um, that, that was your morning, so you had the time to relax. Now it's time to get back into our usual routine. Now, um, I just want to remind everyone that today is day one. So you will have your day one schedule today. Um, and um, last time was a day one, but I'm going to put it back to day one today. So um, after this, you will go where you need to be. Katniss will be outside waiting for the archery and everything like that. And you'll just get as far as you can today until dinner. And you'll just start fresh tomorrow morning. Now it is Monday, so it seems a little silly. But that's just how everything works. Now that's just a little reminder that I want to remind you about. Now, um... Uh, today we're going to be doing in here after you're done with your first schedule, your first thing on your schedule, so your first activity with whoever it is and whatever you're doing, you'll be coming in here and you will be writing on a post-it note what was your favorite thing about Corning, what was the highlight of it, and then what was the miss, meaning your least favorite thing. So that's what you'll be doing when you come in here today. Um, later, um, I don't know when that would be properly, I don't know. But whenever you get done, that's what you're going to be doing. And I, be, because I want to know how your experience went. I want to be able to know, um, like, what do you think of Horning? What is your favorite thing, your least favorite thing? And I'll hang them up, all up somewhere. I just haven't decided where. Because, I mean, I can't talk to each individual and one of you because there's so many of you that I think would be quite difficult. So this is my way of getting to talk to you yet at a, at, in a way that I can follow you, in a way that I can talk to each and every one of you that fits in with my schedule as well. So that is what you will be doing, Okay. So I just want to shoot out um, a few reminders about courting that happened when we were eating our dinner with salmon and pepper and salt and butter with the rice and beans and also the zucchini dinner. I just want to throw it out there that I am really, really disappointed in a lot of kids. Because for some reason, I laid my rules all down very nicely. I laid the rules of no criticism, positivity, and going with the flow. Those were some of my rules that I laid down. Those were three really, really important rules that I laid down. 
and for some reason you guys have forgotten to use those rules. It, you shouldn't have to think to do it. You should just do them without even thinking to. And if you're starting out, then you might have to think to get yourself in a habit. But, um, but you have done that a lot. You, you have practiced doing that. And by now, I really think that it's the point where you wouldn't have to think of doing that, but you completely broke that. And I'm really, really surprised at that. Especially because you guys are like f ranging from 9 to 18 years of age. And that is really silly. I think that um, like people in the um, 11 and 12 year range should know better. Gregor knows better because he is 11 and he knows how to act in front of people. And I want you to use him as a role model because he was not being anywhere near how some of you were acting. Some of you were acting not too bad. Some of you were just enjoying dinner and if you didn't like something, you just didn't need it, but you didn't make a comment on it. Um, that is perfectly fine. If you don't want to eat it, then you don't have to. Um, but don't comment on it. And then there are some people who, are, well, the well, majority of you, there are only a few people who were not, only a few people who were not criticizing the food. And I'm sorry for those three people. Gregor was one of those three people, which means the two other people were from my Hunger Games and then one from the student group. But then most of you, surprisingly, most of you were really, really rude to, um, to my grandmother, Rose Rose, and I'm really, really sad about that. Um, let me tell you that I was in a, I was in a separate room. I was in like a big, um, a big oval shaped room and I was sitting next to um, I was sitting at a table with Luxa, Nerissa, Mirath, Vicus, Solovet, and Eris, and we were, um, well, not Eris, Eris, Eris was sitting with Gregor. And, but we were eating all together, and in the background, we heard some real noise. We heard some people criticizing, um, and I just was like, oh my gosh, that is crazy. And then I heard her in the background say, just stop doing that in her own ways of disciplining you guys. And I also heard a little bit of fighting and arguing going on in the background. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm perplexed right now. And I'm just really, really shocked at that behavioral change. And uh, you were kicking each other at the table, I heard. You were stealing food because there was not enough. And that's really crazy. We need to adopt to things. Life has those situations where it's not something that you're used to, but you just need to respect other ways of living and other types of cooking. And that's what you guys were not doing, unfortunately. And then when I was talking to Rose Rose after dinner, she was just weeping about all the things that you said. And I'm calming her down, and she told me everything. And I was like, oh my goodness, that is unbelievable um, for me as an invented leader to hear that. Um, but she was telling the truth, and I'm really shocked, really, really shocked. You guys will be writing a sorry letter. Each individual one of you, each every one of you, will be writing a letter to apologize to my grandmother because she is a very, very old woman and she did not intend to make anything less than what it was. She did not intend to not have enough food. It's a first time catering a party like that and you need to just respect that. Think of how much pressure that she put in. Think of how much time and effort that she put in to making that for everybody. And you really made her feel very guilty and you made her feel very bad.
Because think, if I was her and I was catering a large party and I was trying my best and then someone told me that you're not being good enough, wouldn't that be kind of disrespectful? I think it would. And for those who don't understand, I want you to see me after class and you're going to, um, you're going to find out just exactly how it feels. Um, so for those who don't understand how to act, you're going to be going in a doorway that Beanie Setta has set up and you're going to find yourself in a world where you're going to have to cater a large party and then everyone is disrespectful and you'll see how it feels and you'll be shocked or own up for it and you'll be super passionate when it comes to writing this sorry letter because I think that that would be the best decision for this kind of behavior. Really. Blow me dead out of the water, you guys. Really. Disappointment. Shockingness. So, uh, with that said, I just want to remind everyone that something big is happening in August. And can someone tell me what that thing will be? Yes. Yes. Yes, we're going to be having a concert um, in at the very end of August. And the concert will... Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be eliminating all of the prophecy songs because there's just... I, I, I think the prophecy songs and the songs from the presentation, it's a little much, right? Um, so um, we're going to eliminate the, um, the, um, the prophecy songs. And we're only going to do those five songs. Well, however many there are in the presentation. But that is a lot of songs to muster. And when we go to present this concert, when we're practicing, it will feel like a never-ending day. And so I don't want, I don't want you to get, to get mixed up with different things and then forget something. It's just really, really too much to handle. But we want enough so that you won't be bored. Um, so this concert will be held at the Norwalk High School Auditorium. And fortunately, I've got in touch with Bob Wisletto, and she said that she would do the honor of conducting with you all at this, um, at this auditorium. And I was actually, I actually went in there with a friend um, of mine. Her name is, um, her name is, um, her name is Grace Jackson, and she took me in because um, that was the place where she did um, her honor choir performances. And the school has been around a long time, and they've got brand new theater, a lot bigger, a lot more grand, and everything. And so I saw the theater, and let me tell you, it is the right location for this concert because. I mean, a concert with songs that really are, like, a lot of songs and very good songs and quite a special occasion to so it's a very special and formal place to perform. Um, so that's where we're going to be going. Uh, you will be, um, and the stage is just so grand. So um, I won't describe it to you. You'll see it when it's there. But I do want to warn you, though, it is in a high school, and so you can probably guess that it will be a very confusing building. Um, so I just want you to know that because people can get overwhelmed and you can feel like you're in a maze in the, in the building, we don't want you to feel like that, you're going to be having chaperones. Um, so you're going to be in individual groups. Um, individual groups with one chaperone that will like take you where you need to get dressed for the concert, take you to dinner, probably help you get dinner because it's all complicated and everything like that. 
and you need to remember to bring water as well because you will need it. You will need water. Um, you will need plenty of water when you're singing on the final day on Friday. Now, fortunately, the day before, you will be going to the Norwalk High School Auditorium, so that's in Iowa, and you will just get a sense of the building and just kind of orient it, and then you will be up on stage and you will be practicing that day as well. And then, and then these particular people, these chaperones, will be from the Hunger Games and Underline Chronicles, and they will help you out. Because what we're going to actually be doing is on the day before, on Wednesday, we're going to be all going over to the building and we're going to be walking around, getting a sense of how it looks and everything before we can help you guys out so that we feel as if we're like in school teachers at that building. So that is what it will be like. It will be quite a long day. And I really want the day to feel fast and uh, not slow and boring for you. Um, so then we're going to be letting in Barbara Sletter. So she's going to be the one that's going to be doing the conducting and the rehearsing for you that final day. When we go on Thursday in the afternoon, you will not see her. But on Friday, you'll see her. Um... So there will be several, multiple breaks, and, well, quite a few breaks, because you're going to be using your voice a lot. So, uh, so that is what I just wanted to bring you up about today. Um, today that is all the reminders. So then, so then we'll be practicing, um, on Thursday, what we'll be doing is we'll be going over there in the afternoon and same on Friday. We'll be heading over there in the afternoon. Um, so the school is serving lunch on um, Thursday and Friday. Um, so um, actually Adam Gertler, when he gets a sense of the building, will be preparing lunch for you guys. Um, at um, um, at the building at the high school, and then when the dinner on Friday will consist of pizza that we have ordered from Caesars. So um, that's what's going to be. Um, I don't really agree with eating your lunch on the bus still because I can find it can be quite complicated. So I really do. Um, understand people who are worried about that and we're not going to be doing that um, so what you'll be doing is on Thursday and Friday so Thursday you'll be over there less in the afternoon so half the afternoon and Friday you'll be over there all afternoon so you will um, bring lunch and then when we get there you'll go into the lunch room and eat your lunch and then go into the theater and then you'll get on stage and practice and all that. So that is what I have to remind you about. Um, there is sheets right over there in that corner saying about all the information we have for this concert in August. So that sheet has all of the information. If you have any questions, please see me after class um, about this whole thing. I know it's a lot of information. But, um, but that is what, what is going to be happening. So, now that I have given you all my announcements, I want you to go outside or go to do spear training or sword fighting or do whatever, whatever you need to do right now. So get, get where you need to be.